Part 2 The Principle of Spirituality Quote You have accepted that which is not. Illusion means you have accepted that which is not. This body form is not your identity, but you accepted I am somebody. The body is not going to remain constant. It undergoes change from a child to a young man and then to an old man. This is not your identity. Forget about it. Chapter 15 Why do I need spirituality? You need spirituality so that you can know what reality is. You need spirituality to realise that you are ultimate truth. Why is reading required? Why is spirituality required? Why is a master required? Why is knowledge required? And for whom? What is the use of spiritual knowledge? Prior to beingness or consciousness, spiritual knowledge did not exist. You did not know yourself. After leaving the body, you will not know yourself. The body is not your identity. The body was not your identity and the body is not going to remain your identity. It is a fact. But we are not accepting this fact. When the spirit clicked with the body, you accepted illusion. I am somebody, either a man or a woman. This is not your identity. Who is holding the body? Who is talking from this body? Who is listening from this body? It is that invisible, anonymous, unidentified identity that you are. Unless this ultimate truth is established permanently within you, it will not be possible for you to know reality. Ultimate reality will not emerge until all your body-based knowledge has dissolved. Prior to beingness, you did not know yourself. When the spirit clicked with the body, knowingness began. You became aware of your existence. I am. And instantly, the world came into view, including your father, mother, relatives and friends. Everyone is trying to condition you with their own thoughts, their social culture, spiritual culture, etc. And as it is the nature of spirit to easily absorb influences, it accepts all these illusory concepts. You're a man or a woman, a father or mother. These people are your relations. You are a Christian or a Hindu, etc. And many other concepts, hundreds and thousands of concepts. We have created our lifestyle from illusory concepts. And we have been living our life trapped within the circle of these illusory concepts. We are downright ignorant. We do not know who we are. In this life, we have so many attachments to the body, the body-related relations, father, mother, sister, brother, husband, wife, son, daughter, master, God. We have grown attached to everything. And in the process, we have completely forgotten about truth. Where were all these attachments prior to beingness? There were none, of course. All our relations came along with this body. All our relations will dissolve, disappear, along with this body. 
we are sometimes maybe too attached to our families. It is okay, as long as you know that the family is also an illusion and that all you are doing is playing a role. At the last stage, you should be free from all desires. Just now, we have a lot of desires, a lot of needs, a lot of requirements, because this illusory life, this body-based knowledge, often becomes unbearable. All beings, including animals, have desires, but we are fortunate to be in a human form that is endowed with intellect. This gives us the ability to understand. The mind means the flow of thoughts. There is a continuous flow of thoughts, good thoughts and bad thoughts. There are three types of thought flowing inside, spiritual, commercial and criminal. Put simply, spiritual thought means that we are always thinking about the deities, the gods and the goddesses, saying prayers, searching for spiritual knowledge, self-knowledge, etc. Commercial thought means consumerism, seeking enjoyment and so on. And criminal thoughts refers to hatred, struggle, conflicts, etc. Spiritual thoughts will help you to establish your true identity and deepen your conviction. You will begin to master the thoughts, deciding which ones to accept and which ones to reject. It is up to you. Everybody has so many questions, hundreds of questions, that they wish to ask. These questions appear upon your presence because you have forgotten your identity. Basically, you are ultimate truth. You are God. Still, in spite of this literal, spiritual knowledge, you find yourself asking more and more questions. <laughs>